Okay, reapings everybody, welcome back to Serious Cubus Avengers and Zeftech Ages. We are now in H2, last episode at the end we unlocked it. And I've been spending some time uh, afterwards mostly setting up like some of this stuff here, the better with mod uh, things. I also started work on the so-called lighthouse. It's not so much a lighthouse maybe, but we'll check it out in a bit. And just some other few things like here and there to uh, that I felt like wasn't too important to, sh to show on the camera. Uh, first of all though, we upgraded our crafting uh, bench here with the Tinker's crafting station. Which is pretty awesome because this one has the advantage. It can keep the items inside if you close the UI. It just stays there. Super cool. So that's going to make it a lot easier to craft uh, here and there. Added another chest in the empty spot that we had here. But nothing in there yet. So should be fine. Um, I also went out into the world to mine ores. Because now we have access to iron, gold, lapis and this stardust. Now... These guys are fairly similar as the normal, you know, or as you would expect. So some of those rocks out in the world now show up as samples for these three things. Uh, there are quite a few veins. I did explore a bit and marked a ton of things on the map. Um, I think, I don't actually remember where I got my iron from. I think it was, where did I get my iron from? Oh, it was in this dark land over here. There's like a dark lens. There's some iron. And we had gold, this one here, which I can actually delete now, right below our base. Um, but I just mined it all out. That is all I got from it. They're not very big veins, unfortunately. The iron one is much bigger. This is like, uh, not all of it yet. I think maybe like uh, a bit over half or two thirds of it, something like this. But yeah, problem is we can't smelt this down yet because the temperature to smelt this down is higher than what our little uh, melter thing here can do. So we have to upgrade this. Also making glass here. So by just smelting down sand, you can make glass now. And we needed a glass for the new prospecting or dowsing rod. So we can actually find these ores. It does require a piece of glass. So had to do that as well. Now the stardust is a little bit different. So if you look in our advancements, it does say here that you have to find these rock crystal samples. Rock crystal samples, um, I don't think they show up here, but they usually indicate that there's this rock crystal ore below. This is stuff we need later. They drop these like, uh, you know, rock crystals, but apparently breaking the actual samples on the surface is what gives you the stardust. And I've been, I've been like traveling for hours now. Well, not for hours, maybe an hour, <laughs> you know, when I was like doing all of this and marking things and stuff. Uh, and I only found one so far down here in the water. And I'll play a clip where I found the rock crystal so you guys can see that um got attacked by a bunch of sharks too on the way which is not so great but uh yeah it, it was just like two samples on the surface you just break them and you got one piece of stardust from it so i'm gonna have to explore more in the world later and try to find more of this stuff because uh we'll we'll need it right for uh, astro sorcery so a little bit rare i don't know i think there was an issue with one 03, I think the server, uh, the, the mod pack version, where Stardust didn't like generate properly, but you know, we can just go generate new chunks and then should be fine. So I might travel like down this ocean here and see where this leads to. I'm also melting down some gold here that we need for later. And you know what? Maybe we should start work on, on iron. So what we can do here, I made a couple of seared bricks, right? These are. Uh, you just melt down grout, which is just sand, gravel, and uh, clay in the millstone. And speaking of the millstone, let's maybe check this out before I mention anything else. I put this down here now. It is powered with, you know, our better with mod stuff now. And I put it on top of this water so that all the water, all, all the drops just fall into this pool, get collected in this hopper and end up in here, you know, so I don't have to worry about picking up stuff or whatever. So I just grind down things on here, which is nice. And I also place the saw in this little corner here. And each of them have a lever so you can turn it on or off. And then uh, probably today I plan on putting down our melters down here and automate them a little bit more. But um, we'll do that later. So to, uh, to actually melt down the iron, we need a higher temperature in here. And I think the only way to do this is to get this here tank. And I wonder if we can use this. Hold on. Let's look up Tinker's. What was it? Complement. Maybe we need a different one. I don't know if I can use the seared tank or if we need this porcelain tank. 
Uh, because I don't want to make porcelain, because it's annoying. Well, no, it's easy now, because I don't have to do it manually. Maybe we should just do this one instead of the Tinker's version. Um, just so it matches the design of it. Yeah, see, there we go. So I just put the stuff in here, and I can just, like, forget about it, you know, and come back later. All the drops go into this water. There we go. And just fall into the hopper. So much nicer. All right, while we're waiting on this stuff, I'm, like, cooking up the porcelain here. Let's also make the turntable because we need this to make buckets and we, you know, we need to go grab lava somehow. Uh, so we need, we need a couple of buckets. Um, to make buckets, we make these unfire clay barrel extensions and we put it on top of a turntable and it will make these unfire clay buckets. And then we can just put them into the kiln. The problem is with the clay buckets, if you pick up lava and then put it down, they break. So I'm going to make eight of them, which should be enough for now. The goal is to eventually make a, uh, you know, a uh, iron bucket. So it shouldn't be a big deal. So what do we need here? We need four smooth stone. Do I still have? Yes, I do. I used up a lot of this stuff on my lighthouse. Uh, we'll go check this out in a bit. Oh, I was, I was about to make gears here with the glue, but we don't actually need this anymore. We have a ton of gears now. You can make gears with um, the saw now. See, just cut down these little pieces. So I think I made like a stack of them and then used up a bunch here. So uh, let's make the stone gear. We know the deal, right? Copper and get an axle. Should have some over and that should be it. No, didn't I grab four stone? What? What happened? What happened with my stone? Uh, oh, it used it for the gear. I see. I thought, it, hmm, I thought it was using cobblestone for the gear. Maybe you can use both and I just use that one. It's okay. So there's a turntable and we need to go grab a couple more axles and gearboxes probably. I don't know where I want to put this yet. And I think this needs to be powered from the bottom if I remember correctly. So let me figure this out here. All right, there's our turntable. I just put it down here in the wall and we need these guys now. So we just put them on top. And then it takes a couple of turns. That is not it, I don't think. Looks like a pot. Ah, uh, wait, is it this? Oh, no, it is. Okay, it just looks like a weird pot. Okay. There's our unfired clay bucket. So let's do this a couple of times. And then we're going to go cook them in our kiln. And then we get buckets. Okay, and then we can also make the sear tanks. There we go. And I'm going to bring these. Well, technically, let me see. Like, I think they contain, yeah, retains liquid when broken. So we can fill these at the lava pool, but uh, I don't have enough buckets, I guess, to fill both of them. And it should be fine. I mean, one one of these should be enough to get enough iron for us to make a actual bucket, I think. Let me double check this. Yeah, I think that should be fine. All right, luckily, I was smart enough to mark down lava pools when I was exploring. So there's one here, not too far from our base. If you look at this, this is where we are. This is our base, so it's pretty good. Let's just uh, maybe get a little bit of a staircase out of here, just in case. And we should be able to put this down and use our buckets now to fill this in. And like I said, they break if you use them. And just to double check, if we break this, it keeps the liquid, right? Yes, it does. Awesome. Okay, so let me go get some. Oh, it can only hold four buckets. Okay, that's actually perfect then. So we can use up the other four we have for the second tank. That actually worked out. I wasn't sure if it holds eight or something. You know, one problem I have usually is like, I need to go behind my jungle quite often and going through here is not the easiest task considering everything's so overgrown, of course. It would be maybe ideal to later on have some sort of tunnel that just goes through there or like a proper pass from all the way from our base to the back of the jungle over there because man is it difficult but okay we got our lava now so let's take this out and i think uh, let me go clear my inventory all right so i think we need to break this once because like you know how it still had heat in there uh if that's the case then it will keep that heat until oh we don't need this until you like break it so and we'll, we'll put this downstairs later, but for now, I just want to keep it here. So put this back down and down, not the melter. And now we should be able to melt on iron because it should be hot enough. It is. Yes, it's melting. Sweet. Oh, baby. So let me get, let's see, three of them will make a bucket, I suppose. All right, but to actually make a bucket out of this, we need a cast, a bucket cast. 
To do this, we need a casting table, so I'm just gonna make the porcelain one as well. And I did melt down some gold over here that we can use for cast, so we just put this underneath there for now. And to make an actual cast, we first of all need a, what is it, stone bucket, I think. There it is, so that's just three smooth stone, uh, should be in here. And we pour gold on top of this, it will make a cast, uh, a bucket cast. Now you could use clay as well, liquid clay, unless there is no, um, no, actually for the bucket there is no clay version, but like for some of the tinker tools, for example, you could use like clay cast if you want, but uh, I feel like, you know, since we have access to gold, we may as well use the gold because they, they last forever. The clay ones break after each use, so might as well have this. Uh, and now let's remove this one here. Uh, it's going to go downstairs, I guess, and put our cast here. Now, is this going to be an issue? No. Okay. So pulling that out. Interesting. Now we can pour our iron in there, let it dry, and it's gonna go downstairs, isn't it? We got a bucket! A, re a real bucket, guys. A real metallic bucket made out of iron. Amazing. Alright, but uh, you know, sitting there and waiting for the iron to melt and then right-clicking the faucet to cast it into blocks, etc. is pretty boring. So let's see if we can automate this with the turntable from Better With Mod. So, the cool thing about this uh, little device is, let me grab a fancier block, maybe some stone brick, excuse me, apparently I can't use the mouse wheel to grab it. If you put this on top, it actually spins this block and you can see this by, let's say, if you put a lever here, you can see the lever is now going around, right? If I activate this, it goes the other way. That's cool, because it's powering this. <laughs> but uh, it also will now send a signal to any like neighboring block, right? We can also slow this down by clicking this little thing at the bottom here. You can see, so it's like slower now, even slower, and then the slowest, right? And then if you want the fastest again, you just click again. So you can kind of select how fast you want this thing to go. So in theory, what we should be able to do is, let's see, um, we want those hoppers too, because we want to transport items. I think it's gonna go this way. Give me that back. So if you put like the casting basin here, like the signal is occupying this empty spot here, right? And then we have our melter. Uh, let's take the tank here and the melter on top, right? And then we put the faucet on the side. Every time this lever now passes by this block here, it will power the faucet on its own. So if we just go, let's go grab some ores. Okay, grab some, and I also grabbed our hopper here because we can set up the same thing we did uh, in the base. Just have like a, something like this where we can insert the ores. So we put our iron in this, right? We're gonna let this melt down, and then it should every time the lever passes by automatically cast this into this block. Okay, so we have some ingots in here, or some liquid iron, I mean, and the lever is about to pass by, and there you go. It's pouring it, and that's all of it. Now, we could make this a bit faster too, but I think the speed may be fine because the problem is like if it's too fast, right, and you have like a lot of liquid in here, uh, if it like pass by, it activates, right, it keeps pouring or starts pouring, and the second time it goes past, it stops it again, right, and this takes a while to fill up. So I don't think there's a point in having it super fast. It's fine if it's slow, it comes by, activates it once like this, right, and then it just keeps going. And by the time it comes back, this might have been filled up. Maybe even the third setting might be perfect. We shall see. But, it, you know, it also uh, probably causes a bit less lag because it doesn't have to, like, activate blocks so often. But this is awesome. So now we can actually get our iron and anything else we want to melt down uh, automatic, uh, automated. And then I'll have a couple of these uh, hoppers down here. I put them in every spot where I want the melter to be. And we just funnel them all into one central location. So like these probably all connect to this guy, these to this one, this one will come from here and they all go into this spot then to deliver our goodies. We'll just put a crate here or something as well. There it is, our first iron block being uh, casted, I guess. All right, there we go. Looks a little bit silly with all the whoppers here because uh, it would be nicer to put them one lower. I couldn't do that though, because on this side, we have the gears here, right, that like power this thing. However, thinking about this, I could probably... Is this the lowest already? Oh, this is the lowest already. 
I mean, I could put this one up higher and then have a gap and then put another one below. Just so it's a bit deeper down. And then we can move it up here and I can lower these guys. I might do this. But I don't have... Well, I have one gearbox, but I would need... Uh, one... I guess that would work. I don't have more exits right now, so I'll, I'll make this off camera. I have to, like, you know, clean up this room anyway. It's super messy. Just because I don't really know yet what I want to have here. So I didn't, like, uh, you know, try to decorate this yet. But we'll decorate this eventually. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place things. All these walls are going to get replaced with something nicer. But there you go. We're casting things. Gold over here. Iron over here for now. And it's all going to go into the central location. And then we can do with this whatever we want. All right. Now that we have iron, let's make a couple of things here. First of all, a chisel. Yes. Awesome. Now we can decorate blocks with this. You know, modify them into other blocks, which is awesome. Uh, you can't do the mossy stuff, right? No. There was, I think, at 1.7... You used to be able to turn co like cobblestone into mossy cobblestone, that kind of stuff. But uh, now they're kind of separate, which is fine. Uh, but for example, the like the cracked stuff, we should be able to just yeah switch between like stone, stone brick, the cracked version. Otherwise, you have to like smelt these in the furnace to get them. So that's really awesome for building, especially when we start work on our skull, which I want to do soon. And another thing is, do we have black dye by any chance? I feel like I actually do. Yeah, maybe not. Let's just grind down some ink sacks. Okay, got it. So now we should be able to make the climbing gloves. No? Oh, it's four pieces of leather. I only grabbed three. All right, there we go. Awesome. Climbing gloves. Now we are like a spider. We can just climb up any wall, which is awesome. Like, way. Obviously, it doesn't make too much sense there, but it's really nice for like building again or like just traversing. Difficult terrain like this, see? We can just like climb this up. So nice. That makes this weird ladder sound. Uh, and if you don't want it, we can just right click on it in our inventory and it stops. All right, let's go over to the lighthouse I started to build. It's over there. Uh, I This is like the fourth version or something. <laughs> I've tried a few different designs. I didn't really like anything and then I just decided to keep it simple and just make it look really overgrown. Um, maybe a little bit too much over there. I didn't... I placed a bunch of vines here to grow them so I can harvest them uh, and make mossy stuff out of it. But they should spread a lot, don't they? Uh, there is a little dock over here too. Just a pretty run-down dock as well. Where you people can, you know, stop and enter. Um, there isn't really anything here and I'm not sure if we want to build something here. It might be kind of interesting. Maybe downstairs, some secret uh, area. There is, however, gold below here. Do we still have a sample somewhere? I'm not sure. I might have got rid of, uh, got rid of them. I think I did. But yeah, there's gold below this uh, this island as well, which is kind of neat. And it, yeah, this stuff over here is too overgrown. I need to like trim this down again. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Um, but I'm but I have this like little dirt staircase going up because I want to have grass up here, right? So I'm just like trying to get this up here because I don't think there's any way to silk touch yet. And then it also goes all the way up here, so we can get grass here too. And then at the very top, um, well, I guess we can just climb this. Did I turn it on? There we go. At the very top, there's just some fire that you may be able to see from further away. But yeah, that took, that took me that took me way too long. <laughs> it was so much work, but I'm glad I did it. I wanted to put something here. Now there's something here. Can't wait to get rid of these like dirt stairs, but um, I think it looks all right. You know, if people come from here, you can kind of see the fire at the top. Probably much more visible at night as well. Hey, there's a crazy eagle that keeps escaping from Morad. All right, I think next uh, next thing I want to do is get a little bit more into, you know, Tinker's Construct and make some tools from it. So let's make a couple of, is it like this? Yeah, a couple of uh, patterns so we can make all those tables. And I did make a couple of them because we wanted to test... Uh, if we if advancements were unlocking properly because Neko had some issues. So we have the stencil table and the part builder, but we still need, let's see. So we still need a pattern chest, which is just like this with a pattern on top. There it is. Uh, I think I'm also going to make a, another work a crafting station. And I think we also need to, I think it's a crafting table with a pattern on top. Yeah, that makes the tool station. So that should be all the things we need. Just leave this here for now. 
and we'll place this downstairs as well i again don't know where exactly just put it over here for now maybe i put down a temporary smelter here because we need one to like you know do the casting of things or maybe we can put this down here so let's see how do we want to do this place this guy here uh pattern chest behind if you connect these like this they actually merge into like one big inventory which is awesome um and i think the tool station should go to the front the stencil table should get next to the pattern chest as well as the part builder should get next to it so something like this now if you open this we have all these tabs here uh, and because we place the pattern chest next to the stencil table we see this on the side here which is great uh part builder is not seeing it though oh oh because we don't have any patterns in there yet right that makes sense so let's put the rest we have in here and the tools i really want is a lumber axe and a hammer especially especially the hammer uh because it will um yeah make just mining a little bit easier so i think we need a large plate we need the hammer hat and i forgot what the red rest is and we don't see this in here right now because the tool station is not enough to see this to make those big tools so we need to upgrade this to a, a, a tool forge so we just take any like four metal blocks like this with the tool forge and some seared bricks and it upgrades it into the tool forge and i just use gold because i don't think i need gold that often and i do know of a bunch of gold veins still so should be fine but yeah now we see more uh, more things in here and we also have yo-yos awesome there are some yo-yos that are really, really powerful as weapons. We might have to make some, but for now, let's look at the hammer. Yeah, it needs the two large plates, a hammer head, and a uh, uh, this one here, the tough tool rod. So, and this one costs three materials, and these are eight each. That means you need like eight ingots, for example, to make this. On this one, for uh, only needs three ingots. Now, I'm not quite sure what kind of material I want to use, though. I'm leaning towards bronze just because... Oh, let's do hammerhead, maybe. Uh, bronze has a mining level of diamond. It's pretty fast, 6.8, and has pretty good durability. Copper might be nice, too. It's only iron, though, not quite as fast. Um, but the thing is that, you know, if you use bronze, for example, we have to repair this bronze, which is a bit of a downside, I suppose. But maybe that's okay. We could also, uh, maybe just for testing, we could also make it out of stone and use it to just clear out large areas of, you know, of land. So we need two of those, a hat, and for the two rod, let's see. Uh, I don't really know what to use for the tool. I'm almost leaning to just wood or bone seems to be okay. But also kind of pricey. So maybe we just go for uh, wood for this one. Just because it's not a super fancy thing. Uh, tough tool rod. There it is. And we just put this together in here. This one, this and this. Gonna split it like this. Okay, and there we go. So we can mine iron with this. It's extremely <laughs> slow, uh, but it does repair itself because of the wood, which is kind of nice. Um, and it still has three modifiers left, so that's nice. Because I need something to just clear out lands or like areas like this, right? And this is pretty good for that. And the cool thing about this one now is that we can just repair this with stone. Now I don't think we can do it in the inventory, can we? No. But what we could do is just let's see, get our wood back here take this again we could just turn this into a, a tool forge Got one of those actually let's double check can i repair this in in the crafting station no okay but i think if we turn this into a tool uh, station again like this whoops we can just carry this around with us and every time we need to repair we just put this in there and repair it like this right and then just break it again so that will definitely help me to just like dig out all this stuff over here which is awesome because i was waiting for this because you know it's it's a bit of work and this makes it so much more faster and of course this would work on ores as well since they have a stone mining level so that should be fine although i don't know if the iron one would work Okay, you can't combine porcelain and uh, seared bricks together. That doesn't work. Good to know. So the problem is we're already out of lava in this one. So we really need to like see if we can find more lava and just bring it all over here. Uh, are there any like tanks other than those guys that we could store stuff in? Barrels. I think the wooden ones would burn. I don't know if you can put these into the clay ones. Like lava. I'm not sure. 
but maybe there's something where we can store a massive amount of lava that would be awesome if you guys know anything just let me know all right but let's also let's try out a bronx hammer even if it's not amazing or if it's too expensive to repair we can still mess with this so just melting down a bit more gold here so we can make cast because the, for the bronx stuff uh, we actually need to cast it we can't just craft it in there so we need this cast here and then we need to hammer cast as well should be enough now to make one and then we need eight pair things. So we need two, uh, yeah, two plates and one hammer head. So we need to melt on a little bit here. So let's do this first. Okay, so there's one. Let's melt this here. Or cast this, I mean. Okay, there's our hammer head. Or, yeah, hammer head. And now we just need two plates. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I think, uh, well, I already made like two of those Bronx parts here. But one of them I'll make a, what is a large plate, a copper one, because it gives you the well established. Now the well established, what it does is, if you mine anything, you get experience points. And I would like to get mending moss here, um, because if you put this on your, on your tool, it will repair, you know, like the normal mending enchantment would work. So the XP you get from mining things will actually slowly restore the durability of your tool, which would be awesome. Only problem is, if we want to make a bookshelf at the moment, uh, it's a little bit difficult still because we need paper here and, uh, let me double check, yeah, paper, which is actually one of the quests, requires pulp and that's like glue and uh, uh, sawdust and stuff. So I don't actually have glue left, I don't think. So at, at least not enough to make enough uh, books out of this because this requires glue as well. So before we jump into this, I think we'll set up like a bit of a mob farm in the hunting dimension. So we get a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, rotten flesh, which would make this a lot easier uh, in the future. So we'll probably do this next time, but let's try it like this. So that should give us, it gives us a dense, which is last longer when it has less durability, gives us the XP and also the wooden tool will repair it slowly, right? And maybe put this like this so that the uh, copper is at the front. I don't think it changes the stats, but it just looks different, you know. Now the mining speed is only 2.5 though, which is a bit slow. Uh, I wonder if it goes down, why it goes down so far. Is it because of the the wooden handle, I wonder? Yeah, let me see. Let me just make a stone one just to check it out. I think I actually had one. Um, no, that doesn't change it. Uh, maybe it's because I'm mixing it. I'm not entirely sure, but... Not super fast, but it has 1000 durability versus 289 on this tool. And you, you maybe have just seen there it restored durability. Um, and it has mining levels, so boom, let's take this. And we have three modifiers, so we can add stuff to this as well. Let's go check this out, make sure we don't have our haste. Okay, just went off. Yeah, it's not a ton, not much faster, but you can see we get XP even for mining stone. So hopefully that will then later help us with repairing the tool. But this is awesome, man. So I can go out and, you know, get the rest of the iron and copper and everything and just mine it so much faster. And just for the heck of it, let's make the lumber axe out of stone too, just so we can go check it out. I'm not too worried about this one, um, but I just want to see if we, for example, grow a large jungle tree. Can we take it down without it breaking? Okay, there's a giant, well, it's not the biggest jungle tree, but it is a large jungle tree. So let's see if we can take this thing down. Sure can. Well, parts of it left, so stayed there, but didn't take too much durability either, to be honest. Let's uh, maybe try another one. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a bigger one. That's a huge tree. All right, let's see. Looking at my durability on a tool. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Cool. You know, ah, that is so nice. <laughs> it's going to speed up things so much. And again, since this is made out of stone, we just really have to grab our tool station that we can just carry with us, um, you know, and repair this in here. Boom, done. And then keep going. So it's not a big deal. I don't think we really need a better lumber axe yet. In the future, we might make a better one, but uh, for now, this should be fine. But I think we'll have to end the episode here for today. I'll probably clean this up off camera again. I, I'm very, very tempted to lower these by one just because it looks a bit silly right now. So have to move around our uh, gears and uh, gearboxes and axles a little bit, but should be fine. And yeah, just, I don't know, kind of try to figure out a way of storing more lava. I guess we could have a bunch of these here tanks just on the wall as well and fill them with lava. That might be an idea, but 
Thanks to the iron bucket, it should be pretty easy now for us to go out into the world and grab a bunch of lava, which is amazing. And I will go, you know, try to get all those uh, ores we found, like tons of iron, copper, all that kind of stuff. Melt it all down, prepare a little bit, you know, so we have some stuff for next time. Uh, not sure what we'll look into next time. I'm kind of, you know, kind of tempted to get started with astral sorcery if we can, or maybe go check out the between lands if we can do that too. We shall see, we shall see. Hope you guys enjoyed though. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye bye.